Hey guys, so today we're back in the cozy spot. I'm just making sure I'm still in frame. I've also got a drink, so if you guys have a drink, take it out right now. That's an order, not a request. Look at this cute cup I got from Glossy. I'm trying to not spill. I've got these like really bad, is it like motor skill issues where if I don't focus, I'll just tip the whole drink over because in my mind, like that's not tippable and I'm like doing it right now. Like if I'm holding a cup, I do one of those jokey things, like people make jokes about this and it's actually real life for me, where if I'm holding a cup of drink, but I wanna check the time on my watch, I will actually tip my drink. Anyway, this is my cute glossy London cup. It actually wasn't sent to me in PR, I actually bought it and I've also got the Philadelphia one because they put a lot of like pop-up shop merch on the website for a limited time only and I thought these were so, I just love collecting little cups. This one's so beautiful. Anyway, subscribe to the bell icon for engagement. Today we have a more chill, story it's once again really funny if you guys didn't see my yesterday one it was the willy wonka experience in glasgow and we all had a good chuckle and a laugh about it and today we'll have a laugh and chuckle again because i think it's once again just not like a super serious story like yeah sucks but it's not like anyone got hurt anyway so it's great that's what i like from a story and i think you guys like it too i actually saw this linked on reddit just in a random reddit is my new twitter i spend all my time on reddit um, not even looking for video ideas, rarely looking for video ideas. I'm just on there for fun. I just follow a bunch of stuff, a bunch of niche things, a bunch of like horse riding, horse, like just like a bunch of like interests that I have, right? And then sometimes on the homepage, they'll just be like, look at this really interesting story. And I'm like, that's exactly what I wanted to hear. Weird but true is the tag they put on this and it was written by Ben Cost. Angry coffee shop shares video of inconsiderate pop-up wedding and demands a venue fee. I mean, we're in for a treat already, just immediately. This is a wedding that crashes you. Viral footage captured the wild moment that a bridal party allegedly threw a pop-up wedding. I've never seen a pop-up wedding in, in, in my life. At a coffee shop in Indiana, preventing the caffeine purveyor from serving other patrons. Now I did find the statements from the coffee shop on Instagram, like the original statements they made, so I'll get into those after this article. I just wanna get you guys up to speed with the whole situation. So the initial online post regarding the incident described a 20 to 30 person strong wedding party, complete with an efficient photographers and guests that entered the store on New Year's Eve day. Then a beautiful bride walked in and they proceeded to have a ceremony with zero knowledge to us. The mansion had initially declined to share a video of the imposition out of respect, but changed their minds due to a lack of accountability from the wedding crashes per the post. So apparently Mansion Society wrote in an email to the bride, your guests went as far as to block our parking by not even using parking spots and lining cars along the entrance valet style. I mean, to be fair, if the bride made it seem like she had booked this venue, then yeah, a bunch of these guests are gonna just treat it like a wedding venue, right? So it just depends if like all the guests were also in the know that they were crashing this place or did the bride make it look like she did book it, but she didn't. And so they, they were all acting like they were just at a wedding venue. In the jaw dropping footage, the bride and groom can be seen getting hitched in front of fawning onlookers as if inside a wedding chapel. To make matters worse, the freeloaders blocked the entrances to the venue and treated the staff like they were their party caterers. That is insane. They were asking us to take coats, purses, and watch personal items as if they had rented it out for a personal event. There is something so shocking to me, because I could never, like my social anxiety could never get me to do this. Something so crazy about knowing that you haven't paid for this event and then yet treating the people like staff that you have paid. Because you know you haven't paid and you know you haven't even got the permission to be there. And so instead of just being like down low, super quiet, super chill, just like you and maybe three out of the people, that you invited 30 people and then got everyone to treat the staff like servants. For 20 minutes, the entitled revelers obstructed the building entrance, notably blocking customers attempting to order with a nuptial photo shoot per screenshots of an email sent by Mansion Society Management to the bride. Staff found this business crashing especially odd since they host private events ranging from weddings to baby showers to engagement parties. Maybe I'm thinking now this is an entitled bride and groom. I'm emphasizing bride because I feel like brides usually focus on weddings more than grooms as stereotypically, but they were an entitled pair who maybe thought this wedding venue was very beautiful, but it was too expensive, or they didn't have the times that they wanted. So they were just like, we're just gonna show up. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? Are they gonna do kick us out? You know what I mean? Like, I think there's a level of entitlement here or maybe a lack of planning. And they thought this wedding venue would just be available and it would be affordable. And they thought, you know, we're just gonna show up. When asked why they didn't do more to stop the not tying pop-up, Top Shop Brass explained that they initially thought that they had come from the wedding venue next door. The assumption was understandable given the wedding guests commonly stopped by the shop. Mansion Society said this party had trickled in over 15 minutes rather than all at once. So it was kind of like, Oh, maybe it's just people grabbing coffee from the venue next door. Oh, wait, 
there's now 20 people. Oh wait, now there's 30 people and suddenly people are getting married. Like I think it was just a more of a trickle in effect. And I mean, I'd be bam I wouldn't know what to do either. Cause like, you don't want to be known as the person who like ruined someone's wedding and jumped in and while they're, you know, doing their vows and you're in the back of the picture, just being like, hey, sorry, can you move? But like, kind of, cause there was that one video that I remember seeing on the internet where someone was proposing to someone in Disney it was a, either Disney World, Disneyland, I can't remember which one it was, but they were in like a restricted section and um, I'm pretty sure one of the employees like jumped in as they were like doing it and people were saying, is it right for him to ruin that moment? And despite them breaking the rules and being in a restricted area, should he have just waited until the proposal was done and, and they got their pictures or was it petty but right for him to jump in and just be like, no, like enough. Cause they would never really learn if you just don't make the rules clear, right? So yeah, he ruined their pictures and he ruined their proposal, but at the same time, it's like they were in the restricted section to begin with. So it's like, are you ever gonna learn a lesson if someone doesn't ruin your day? That's what I'm thinking. It's like, do you wanna be this person that jumps in in the middle of vows? And it's like, sorry, you guys have to leave. Like pack this shit up. I don't know and who wants to be that person who wants to be the villain and now with social media as well I just feel like they would be made out to be the villain on the internet so it's just kind of like it's a tough position to be put in to be the one responsible for breaking up a wedding we figured they were waiting for their entire group before getting up to order the post read the bride walked in and the ceremony immediately began we were taking orders slinging drinks and we couldn't stop a wedding ceremony midway the mansion's management also felt that the social media backlash could have been cancel worthy if spun the right way i mean definitely yeah like they explained that they are now working with central state the leasing manager of the wedding venue next door as the bridal party did not get permission to shoot in the building they implored prospective revelers to please be considerate and consider booking us for a private event rather than showing up taking control of our small business with no notice or any sort of monetary pre-arrangement so i actually have the posts that's why i didn't get into too many of the posts on here because i actually have all of the posts so this is mansion society indie i mean it's absolutely stunning it's beautiful but it doesn't mean that you get to just not pay and show up as you please um because it's beautiful why is it getting so dark in here i feel like it's gonna it's just been raining all day and it's the weather here is so unpredictable so hi all happy holidays today 31st of december we had an odd eventful day at mansion that we feel the need to share as most of you know we're a small owned business and do our best to provide the best service to all today while our staff was expecting a normal sunday we noticed a downpour of patrons walking in soon enough there was a full bridal and groomsmen party a wedding officiant wedding photographers and patrons leaving personal items including wedding gifts coats purses all throughout the coffee shop as they took over a beautiful bride I'm glad they emphasized. Uh, walked in and processed to have a wedding ceremony of zero knowledge stars. I think that meant proceeded. Proceed, proceeded, processed. Now I'm confused, knowledge to us. We book for private events and are proud to host bridal and baby showers, engagement shoots, parties, and all sorts of private events. We are delighted to be considered beautiful enough to host any special events. The group of about 20 to 30 people continue to not only have a wedding ceremony, but take pictures, videos, and block pathways for customers trying to enter mansion society. They were asking us to take coats, purses, and watch personal items as if they had rented us out for a private event. We debated not sharing today's event and what to share, we are ultimately sharing to ask our patrons to please be considerate and mindful and consider booking us for a private event other than showing up and taking control of our small business with no notice or any sort of monetary pre-arrangement. Thank you to all who took the time to read this with love and respect, the Mansion Society family. And they turned the comments off on this, but it had 11 and a half thousand likes. They're a small business, right? So then, literally two days later, they post an update and the caption says update, thank you all. And it has 16 and a half thousand likes. Once again, comments turned off. Hello again, we have an update. We'd like to update you on our pop-up wedding saga. It has been an overwhelming couple of days and we first want to thank you all for the support, kind words, reassurance. We are in the right and even a GoFundMe has entered the group chat. We will try our best to answer all questions in this post to move forward. Yes, the post has reached the bridal party in question. The bride to be specific. She reached out via email offering a $200 donation. Yeah, this is giving me big like entitlement vibes. I get that weddings are super expensive and most people can't afford a wedding these days. But that doesn't mean that you're just entitled to create your own dream wedding for free at other people's expense. And this venue would not have cost $200, let me tell you that much. I think if you can't afford a wedding, you can always just um, elope and just you sign a piece. If it's all about love and you're just not in a financial position right now to do that, why not just elope? And you just sign a piece of paper and then you can like renew your vows or something once you're more financially stable. I don't know what this obsession is with needing this massive wedding and needing to prove to people that your love is worthy, I guess. Um, and this screams very big, like they maybe didn't budget for a venue. 
they got to booking venues, realized how expensive they are, um, decided to just show up to this event. And now they're offering a $200 donation, which is nowhere near enough for covering a wedding venue. Oh my God, it's like pouring outside. It's kind of cozy, huh? We have sent a reply and in full transparency, we'll be posting our response. A clip of the wedding taking place, something we chose to exempt in our original post out of respect, but given the lack of accountability from the wedding party, here it is. We will wait for a payment from the bride to hopefully leave this in the past. An invoice has been sent, although we're not expecting any sort of compensation from them. They don't see themselves in the wrong in this situation, which I mean, the lack of accountability as well as like the entitlement to do this in the first place and to do it the way they did it, like treating the people there like they are paid when they're not like you know you haven't paid so why are you treating people like they're beneath you and like they need to carry your bags around blocking the venue with your cars like that entitlement and then to be called out and still not think you did anything wrong is absolutely and to offer two hundred dollars is just such a slap in the face anyway we'd also like to mention that the leasing manager of central state and many other buildings including the 1899 building venue is working with us because they also got no approval to do a full photo shoot in the building with no consent or permit uh, now to answer the most asked questions, why don't we stop it? Why don't we ask them to leave immediately? It's normal for us to have wedding guests during the weekends. 1899 is next door, wedding venue that belongs to Central State. And it's very common for us to serve a latte before or after the ceremony. Uh, the wedding guests came in a 15 minute timeline, sat down. We figured they were waiting for their entire group before getting up to order. The bride walked in and the ceremony immediately began. We were taking orders, slinging drinks, and we couldn't stop a wedding ceremony midway. The social media backlash could have been cancel worthy if spun the right way. Our shock froze in the moment. In our email response to the bride, we break down what her party did with love and respect, the Mansion Society team. And they post videos and pictures of this wedding, it's crazy. So this is the email, I'm co-owner of the coffee shop. I have sat down with my partner and our staff and are all in agreement, including the building manager for the leasing company. You took control of, without prior notice, to have your wedding here for more than an hour. The person that tried to make a reservation for a table of six to sign some documents was with the building manager, to which he told us, but we didn't make reservations if we did if we don't do private events that obviously have a cost. When both you and your group arrived, they asked about the reservation to which the barista on duty answered that we did not make any reservations, but you could have a seat at the long table and you could come to the order and we can bring everything out. So they were just expecting like a, a, a dinner, like maybe just sit down, have a drink, blah, 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 but not a whole wedding where everyone stood up leaving wedding gifts. Like I think it's very common for people to elope or have like a small wedding and then just go grab dinner afterwards um, at like a cute restaurant or something. I've seen that many times before. And that is completely fine as long as you just book the reservation. So let's say you invite six people to, to your wedding, there's eight of you, you go to a fancy restaurant, you book a table for eight. You're not doing the wedding there. You're just doing a celebration as if it was like a birthday or something, right? But this was a whole wedding that they did which is different. Without asking consideration and zero care to those patrons around you or us, you proceeded to have a wedding at the coffee shop with a group of at least 20 people, moving sofas, chairs, coffee tables, end tables, cushions, etc. Leaving our staff returned everything to its place. We don't need a donation of $200. We need you to pay the fee to use a place that you did not previously hire for a wedding ceremony, or at least ask if it is okay for it to be held in our facilities. The normal rate for a weekend rental is $500 and we look forward to receiving the payment as soon as possible. I mean, it's not even anywhere near as expensive as some venues get, mainly because they didn't actually book the wedding venue, they did it in the coffee shop. And I guess the coffee shop has lower rates than the actual wedding venue next door, which is probably what they wanted. They, they wanted the wedding venue next door, couldn't afford that, knew they couldn't pull that off in that wedding venue. So they just did it in the coffee shop and used that whole place as like the backdrop for their pictures because it's close enough right but like wedding venues are in the thousands to tens of thousands to hundreds of thousands in some instances so 500 dollars is really nothing compared to what you could be paying since for more than 20 minutes you and your party interrupted the entrance of our building blocking customers with your photo shoot at the main door just like when they entered the cafe and the line of customers was behind your party waiting for the same photo shoot just trying to order their coffee when our barista asked your party to please move out of the way that you were blocking our customers your photographer told us no wait at least five minutes i mean even with my social anxiety i would have lost my what is going on your guests went as far as to block our parking by not even using parking spots and lining cars along the entrance valet style your donation doesn't even meet the minimum consumption requirement our rental fee or tip to the staff working for having to work an event no one even knows would happen free of cost we wait for your response and how to go about sending your invoice mansion society team oh my god so then on the 6th of january they post another post and the caption is 
Hello everyone. As you all know, Mansion Society was created by a mother and daughter. This post is written by the mum, who's a writer, who always has her golden doodle eros with her. Ah. Mansion Society is a family business where my daughter, Barbie, is a full-time barista who welcomes and prepares coffee with love and respect for each of you. As a result of the pop-up wedding, on December 31st, two posts have been made. The first was created by the surprise and indignation of our team, in which I included myself because I work part-time to save an extra salary and thus stay afloat. People may know me because I take orders to the tables, ask if everything is okay, prepare orders, and take time to choose your glasses, plates, and silver trays in which everything is served. I'm the one who has the eye for the details. Mansion is in equal partnership with my eldest daughter. We each take on different roles on day-to-day -day and behind the scenes. Over the course of two years, we have learned a lot about being in the customer service industry. And as the saying goes, the customer is always right which I completely disagree with. Oh my God, where did this sun just come? It was literally just pouring. And I don't agree with the customer's always right. I think that's absolute bullshit. I get why that started because businesses wanted customers to be happy. But what about your staff? Because sometimes customers are not right. And actually a lot of the times customers are not right. In this case, I make an exception. It has already been explained in two previous posts, plus in the comments that we've responded to. Popular opinion has been supportive, positive and encouraging. There are some who accuse us of ruining a wedding. Wedding days, joy and memories. How about you pay then? Plan your wedding so that it can be full of joy and happiness. We decided to post an update because the bride offered a donation of $200 without an apology or accepting responsibility for the event without consent after the central state building manager contacted her. As for an update, she responded, that's unreasonable. She has no reply to our invoice. Please respect all the small local businesses that are trying to stay open and provide jobs and services to the city for the better. With love and respect, Zoraida L, co-founder. And they also posted, which I thought was kind of shady, but kind of cool. Uh, they posted a newlywed shoot at the Mansion Society. Yeah, congrats. Congratulations newlyweds, thank you for choosing to capture your moments at the mansion and it just goes to show like if you just book and you pay and you show up respectfully you will have your perfect photo shoot, no one's gonna be angry, no one's gonna kick you out. I went through some of the comments, someone said all the haters, the bride getting all the grief did in fact speak to the manager and he okayed it. On him to find out more details. What a mean spirited coffee shop to accuse them. It was their wedding day for goodness sake. Show some flex. Hi, the manager they spoke with is the manager of the leasing company we pay our rent to. He has no affiliation with Mansion Society. The wedding party reached out to the apartment leasing office. So it's like, they clearly were doing everything they could to get around. And like, we asked, we said we'd get dinner. We said we'd have a long table. It's like, no one was told that you were gonna officiate your wedding in this coffee shop. Someone said, oh my gosh, did they actually book with you and communicate they were going to be there beforehand? The actual photographer, Radiel, Rady Lee photography, we did, laughing face. So, mm, that's interesting. Someone said, as a photographer, I always ask the couple if they communicated with the venue, if it's okay to shoot there. I also let them know that we have to be respectful of the people at the place. And I think that was up to the photographer to do. But this is Mansion Society, if you're in Indiana, I mean, you can, go and support a local business. And yeah, I thought the story was absolutely ridiculous. I just don't know where this entitlement comes from and it needs to stop. That's what I think anyway. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Subscribe to the bell icon for engagement. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.